We better find a use for this quick, Max. I don't like the way it sloshes around in my coat and gets everything disconcertingly moist. Oh, sure. Blame the demon broth. I was hoping you'd call. No, 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 don't speak. Those detectives are finally gone, but someone might be listening in. We should meet in person. Perfect. I'll leave right away. What? Of course not. And Sam and Max don't suspect a thing. Wow, would you look at that, Max? Amazing. Oh, shame on you, Max. You know how Stinky explicitly told us never to go back in the kitchen. Oh, hi, Barney and Jug Jug. Barney and Jug Jug? Ugh, you're not even trying with the names anymore, are you? Look, I've got a lot going on. Can I just give you your key or your crystal shard or whatever it is you're looking for so you guys can go off and do whatever it is you do? Sorry, Stinky. We gotta go through all the questions. It's the rules. Whatever. Unitron Extreme 5000, with over 800 messaging features available. Oh boy! Now I can finally set up my 24-hour adults-only naked bunny chat line. We're sorry, we've lost my manual for that feature. Can you make phone calls? That I can handle. Please say the name of the person you want to call. I was hoping you'd call. No, 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 don't speak. Those detectives are finally gone, but someone might be listening in. We should meet in person. Oh, uh, yes. <laughs> we should go to uh, that place with the things that you like. Perfect. I'll leave right away. See you wherever that is, then, uh, my love. Oh, yeah, one more thing. Are your corn dogs really made with 100% pure beef? What? Of course not. And Sam and Max don't suspect a thing. Woo, well that's a relief. Ever since the dairy freeze shut down, Stinky's corn dogs have been my only source of nutritious pig sphincters. I can't believe Skunk Ape lets us just walk into his ship unsupervised. It's like he's never even met us. Wow, would you look at that, Max? Amazing. It's a secret passage, Sam. Really not that big a deal.
It's a big pile of low-tech audio video equipment, tossed out like pianos from a falling zeppelin. And it's still warm. Documentary filmmakers must be lurking nearby. Some secret passage. It's just a bunch of junk, like this old scanner. <laughs> oh boy! Whose head did we explode first? Not that kind of scam. What the? Hey, look. It's Mama Bosco's futuristic power core. What is it doing down here? That's a mystery for another episode, Max. It's too bad you don't have a nose, cause you smell delicious! This should give that brain the jolt he needs to face the morning. Now we just need some way to hook it up. me from the sleep of 100 deaths. How did you do it? Easy peasy. All it took was Stinky's demon broth and Mama Bosco's futuristic power core. Don't forget the jumper cables, Sam. They were very important. Whatever the case, listen carefully. Do not trust General Skunkafe. He is... He is... Whoa. Something's happening. Toys detected. Toys detected. What are you doing, Brain? Cut it out. I can't help it! I'm... Oom... Yagsagat Naguluram... Yagsagat Naguluram... Gordon's alive! <sighs> I mean, what a pleasant surprise. Tell me, friend Brain, where is the toy? Two toys... Too weak... Can't... Trace... Uh... Curses! Very well. I'll find them myself. Is he gone? Yeah, the coast is clear. What just happened? I don't know. I've never felt anything like that. The toys of this planet must have astonishing power. Where is Skunk Ape's collection of magic toys? He keeps them on display as a show of power. I'm regaining control over the ship's functions so I can reveal them to you. Behold! That's it? That's it! It's a toy that lets you teleport across vast distances in the blink of an eye using only the power of your mind. That's not cool enough for you? It's just, we saw more toys in Max's vision. More toys? You must not have found them yet. They must still be somewhere in this city. You have to find them before Skunkape does, or he'll destroy us all! Sam and Max, do not trust Oh uh, yeah, we kind of already- The giant fang spaceship with disintegrator eye- Are you calling me g Look, I don't know, but on my- I guess weird- To be fair, Max, you're f- You mean- Okay, that's all the evidence. If you end up... Spaceship is secure. If I could have a moment, sirs. Hello, Sam, Mr. President. If you have a moment, you need to be debriefed. Too late! 
This may come as a shock, but our intel indicates that General Skunkape is actually quite evil. No! I'm pretty sure I never heard of a Department of Homeworld Security, Agent Superball. Established in 1901 by Theodore Roosevelt after President McKinley's assassination by one of the insectors of the Nebulon Empire. I'm President of the United States! Why didn't I? It's explained in books, sir. All right. Okay, what's the real story behind Skunk Ape? General Skunk Ape is an intergalactic criminal warlord. There's been a galaxy-wide gorilla hunt in effect ever since he escaped from the penal zone. The what zone? Penal. It's an interdimensional prison for the most dangerous villains in the universe. How are we supposed to get Skunk Ape back into the penal zone? The United Planets have simple and easily reproducible fail-safe measures in place to handle escaped convicts. Well, that's a relief. All we need to do is open an unstable trans-dimensional gateway to the penal zone, and his prisoner's badge will take care of the rest. I didn't notice Skunk Ape wearing any kind of badge or homing beacon. That's because he wasn't wearing one, sir. I find it extraordinarily alarming. Whoa, 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 calm down. We can't think with all your hysterics. Forgive me, Mr. President, but unless you can find General Skunkape's homing beacon and place it on him, we're powerless to stop him. What did this homing beacon look like? It's a standard issue intergalactic correctional facility inmate's badge. It can't be destroyed, so the only way he could have gotten rid of it is by giving it to someone else. Don't worry, Superball. We'll hit that gorilla where it hurts the most. Right in the penal yes, zone! Yes, I get it, sir. <laughs> Max, this unassuming telephone unlocks the gift of teleportation. <laughs> Using the power of your mind, you can teleport yourself to any phone number you have memorized. Oh boy, I want to try it right now! I don't like the thought of you teleporting off without me, Max. You can go too, Sam. Max will teleport anyone he's touching. Watch the hands. Aren't you going to try the teleportation power? Sure, we'll try it out later. Oh, okay. Hmm. Is everything okay, Brain? It's just, I've never seen it. I'm just a brain in a jar. Can't really use it. It sounded cool as all. Okay, fine. We'll do it now.